Hello and welcome to GeoMind. In this video, we are going to discuss about stratigraphy. Uh, since I have not made any videos related to stratigraphy in this channel yet, uh, we will discuss with the basic concepts of stratigraphy. Okay. So my name is Swapnil Bist, and if you want to join my Telegram group, I have given the link in the description below. Also, if you want to help this channel grow, you can do it so by clicking at the heart button that is right below this video and donate any of the amount you like okay so let's start what is a stratigraphy so we will start with the basics first and then we will move on to principles of stratigraphy which is the main topic of this video what is a stratigraphy so stratigraphy is basically made up of two words strata plus graphy so strata plus graphy strata basically means the layers of rock and graphy means description okay so what we are doing in this subject we are basically describing these layers of rocks now the one thing that will be coming to your mind is why the layers of rock okay because in this video we are going to dis uh, sorry in this uh, topic we are going to discuss about the rocks which are sedimentary rocks okay because only sedimentary rocks have the layers in them okay so what is stratigraphy stratigraphy is the description of the layers of the rock and of course it's a branch of geology so in the definition what we will write if the questions come what is the stratigraphy that this description correlation interpretation of stratified sediments okay and stratified stratified rocks on this earth and why do we study these uh, description correlation interpretation because by reading these we will be able to find out the details of paleoclimate that is past climate okay so as you know climate change is happening so in order to understand you know whole scenario uh, we need to understand the paleoclimates okay so we are going to uh, we 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 will know about the paleoclimate paleo geography glaciations how glaciers have happened you know in the past orogeny that is mountain building okay epiorogeny evolution and migration of the plants and animals so all these things we will cover under stratigraphy okay so uh, you have heard about biostratigraphy right okay magnetostratigraphy all these things comes under stratigraphy so what is the basic basic is the it's a branch of geology we uh, basically describe the rocks of the layers under the stratigraphy to know about the paleoclimates paleogeography glaciations glaciations etc okay so why why we study about the sedimentary rock only why not igneous rocks or metamorph metamorphic rock because generally we are concerned with the earth's surface okay and earth's current land surface is 73% covered by sedimentary rock okay because generally what happens you know that sedimentary rocks are what byproduct of the weathering of igneous and metamorphic rock and weathering will happen generally at the surface that is earth crust so 73% of the earth crust is covered by sedimentary rock okay and in that 73% most is terrestrial so you could say 90% to 80% is covered uh, the terrestrial region is covered by sedimentary rocks and that's why we uh, mostly encounter the sedimentary rocks on the earth crust okay so here you can see the sandstone okay shale all these come under your sedimentary rock okay now here here are some terminologies which are related to stratigraphy like for example correlation okay okay method of correlation biostratigraphy uh, so we will discuss this one by one 
so correlation is a terminology which which comes in stratigraphy very often okay so correlation the meaning of correlation is basically matching up matching up of exposure of rocks what is exposure of rocks suppose you are traveling you know in a road okay and you see some rocks okay so if there are naked rocks you are seeing these rocks are known as exposures or outcrops and when we match these rocks of different region okay via fossil records or radiometric dating or lithochemical okay or by lithology then that is known as correlation so correlation simply means matching up of the exposure of rocks that are of the same age but at different locations okay like for example uh, in this uh, photo you could see that this these layers of rock are in utah bryas utah and these are in zion utah so if there are uh, if there are rocks of same age but at different location and we match these rocks of same age then that process is known as correlation for example you could see that here is navajo sandstone okay navajo mexico mein j ko h se pronounce karte hain navajo sandstone and here is also navajo sandstone right but these are at different location so if we correlate them by matching the fossil record by radiometric dating and we come to conclusion that yes these both rocks are of same age then that is known as correlation okay it couldn't be much more simpler than this okay so correlation reveals a more complete picture of the sedimentary rock record so here you can see that here is time period right mississippi and to tertiary but in a single location no sequence is there no entire sequence is there because of erosion okay and other activities so you will not get entire rock record but if we match you know the rock record of different locations we can find out the entire rock sequence right for example red wall limestone sabse niche hai okay is at the bottom and wasatch formation is at the top okay so by matching by correlating all the rocks rock rock layers you will find out the complete sequence okay so that's why correlation is very important right so this is an example of grand canyon in utah okay so this is very very much clear right navajo sandstone yahan pe bhi hai yahan pe bhi hai here is also navajo sandstone so we are matching okay then there is kebab limestone at the bottom cambrian and uh, here is the kebab limestone so we have correlated it and then made the entire rock sequence okay so what are the methods of correlation we can use matching by fossils or rock units and geological time scale okay that is your radiometric dating okay by lithostratigraphy that is the physical properties of strata like for example if sandstone is there okay we know that it's a sandstone or yahan pe bhi sandstone hai dusri location pe let's say you are a, one one of you is in mp and one of you is in up aapko bhi sandstone mil raha hai yahan pe aapko bhi sandstone mil raha hai okay so you are matching this but let's say that you are getting a fossil of let's say trilobite okay yahan pe bhi trilobite ka fossil aapko mil raha hai so you could say that this might be of cambrian age right then aapne iski radiometric dating ki and you say that this is 540 million years old 540 million years old to aap keh sakte ho ki ye dono jo rock hain wo same time pe deposit hui hongi okay so this is correlation and by using fossils lithostratigraphy and time scale you could use correlation okay so this is how we correlate ammonite ammonite okay trilobite 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 here is a uh, question from iit jam an index fossil should have what 
so you can comment down below okay the answer pretty easy answer if you are familiar with geology okay again this is correlation radiometric dating we will not go into this okay these are some example of radiometric age dating okay this is the stratigraphy of india that we are going to discuss in upcoming lectures okay facies is also a terminology which is related to stratigraphy facies is basically what some total of features that reflect the specific environmental condition in which rock was formed or deposited so if a rock is deposited in a certain conditions okay like for example lacustrine lacustrine environment mein rock deposit ho rahi hai lacustrine mani ki lake in lake environment a sandstone being deposited and in that lake environment a particular fauna is also there and that fauna becomes a fossil okay koi fossil wo ban gaya theek hai to wo particular jo physical properties hain chemical properties hain biological properties hain unko mila ke agar ek specific rock aapko mil rahi hai uski particular properties hain to usko hum bolenge facies okay so lithological sedimentological or faunal properties hain agar us rock ki वो टोटल मिला के आपको फेसिस बनाती है ओके सो फेसिस इज व्हाट फीचर्स ऑफ अ रॉक दीज फीचर्स कुड बी लिथोलॉजिकल दैट इज फिजिकल फीचर सेडिमेंटोलॉजिकल और फॉनल फीचर्स ओके सो इन सेडिमेंटरी फेसिस मिनरल कंपोजिशन सेडिमेंटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके बेडिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑल दीज डायग्नोस्टिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रॉक आर देयर ओके इन द फेसिस okay so here you can see limestone facies shale facies siltstone facies conglomerate facies okay so these were the basic terminologies related to stratigraphy now we will move on to the important points that is your principles of stratigraphy okay now this topic is very important because it is asked in many examinations okay related to geology so there are around 12 basic principles of stratigraphy okay 12 so we will go through them one by one okay so law of uniformitarianism catastrophism law of superposition law of original horizontality law of lateral continuity principle of cross cut relationship inclusion faunal succession baked contacts conformability unconformities walther's law of facies uh, in this you could see that i have bolded out four principles these four principles that is law of superposition original horizontality lateral continuity cross cut relationship these are principles that are also known as steno's principles of stratigraphy okay steno was basically a geographer or stratigrapher who gave these four principles okay so first we will discuss with uniformitarianism so the principle of uniformitarianism also known as gradualism states that physical processes we observe operating today also operated in the past isko ek bahut hi famous phrase hai that is known as present is the key to the past it was given by james sutton a very famous geologist so what it basically means that whatever the physical processes physical processes means whatever the processes that earth is experiencing today like for example volcanism rain tectonism uh weathering right whatever the physical processes today are there okay change in weather climate change uh change in sea level okay these physical processes or geological processes whatever there was uh, whatever 
there are in present day they were also acting in the past okay like for example here you can see in this first image present day mud cracks forming in clay rich sediments okay clay aapki kya hoti hai bahut hi fine grained jo sediments hote hain unko hum clay kehte hain okay i think 1 by 264 mm se niche ke jo particles hote hain smaller particles less than 1 by 264 mm are known as clay so when the when the uh, wet clay dries up it contracts and form these cracks these cracks are known as mud cracks so the present day mud cracks are also there and here, here you can see the ancient mud cracks okay the physical processes are acting today also and acted in the past also okay so this is the first principle okay here you can see volcanism present day volcanism ka ho raha hai jaise hawaii mein acha khasa volcanism ho raha hai is samay okay hawaii hotspot but you can also see that like for example in india there is deccan plateau which is actually a case of continental flood basalt okay so this also happened in the past around 65 66 million years ago and present day hawaii mein bhi acha khasa aapka cfb ho raha hai okay now the second principle is the catastrophism naam se pata chal raha hai extinction catastrophic okay so extinction happened primarily during catastrophes such as giant floods and your impacts asteroid or meteorite impacts okay or very mega earthquakes so this is known as catastrophism okay catastrophes happen on the earth okay it might not happen often but it will happen okay so due to this catastrophism geological changes were rapid and these rapid changes basically aid the extinction like in your permian triassic extinction what happened siberian volcanism in pt extinction your siberian volcanism happened okay so it was given by george cuvier supported by william wevel okay like uh, this is a very famous crater uh, also known as barringer crater in usa okay it's a meteorite crater now we will move on to steno's law of stratigraphy steno gave four laws okay so as i discussed earlier there were four laws first is very very important i mean all four laws are important but the first one is called the law of superposition if you are a geologist and if you do not know these laws then it is problematic okay every geologist should know these laws and they are pretty simple to understand okay first is law of superposition law of superposition basically states that if you are seeing any undeformed sequence of sedimentary rock undeformed sequence of sedimentary rock okay One, two, three. Let's say you have three layers of rocks. First is sandstone, second is limestone, and third, is, third you could say is conglomerate. Undeformed means it has not gone any changes, like it has not been metamorphosed or it has not gone under folding or faulting, and it is horizontal. So it says that. सुपरपोजिशन सुपरपोजिशन का मतलब क्या है कि एक के ऊपर एक सो इट सेज दैट द टॉप मोस्ट लेयर विल ऑलवेज बी द यंगेस्ट लेयर एंड द बॉटम लेयर विल ऑलवेज बी द ओल्डेस्ट लेयर ओके सो यंगेस्ट एंड ओल्डेस्ट सो ऑब्वियसली टाइम वन इज द ओल्ड 
time 3 is the youngest. The first, the bottom layer was deposited, then the middle layer and the youngest layer was deposited recently. The catch here is the undeformed sequence. Okay, if it is deformed, then it can be that the rock layer is inclined or folded. Ho jayen. Then that will not be the case. The case will be only valid if the rock layers are undeformed and horizontal. So the oldest layer are at the bottom and the youngest layer are, are at the top. Okay. So this you can see. Then second one is the law of original horizontality. Law of original horizontality. So what it says that layers layer here is means rock layers rock layers now inclined must have been deposited as nearly horizontal layers. so what it says is that the rock layers the sedimentary rock layers will always be deposited in horizontal fashion always okay horizontal fashion may he rock ka deposition hoga sediments ka deposition hoga if the sediments uh, if the rock layers are tilted or folded it means that these rock layers were once horizontal and due to tectonic forces these rock layers got deformed okay so rock layers will always deposit in horizontal fashion okay this is post deposition Then third is law of original lateral continuity. What it means is that sediments deposit over a large area in continuous sheet. Isse pehle kya tha? Ki horizontal deposition hoga. Okay. Rocks are deposited horizontality. Horizontally. But they are also laterally continuous over a very large area or over a very large region okay so sedimentary strata extend continuously in all direction until they thin out at the edge of a devotional basin or grade into different type of sediment so what it is trying to say is that there will never be an abrupt ending of a laterally continuous strata until, until and unless there is a weathering of some sort or there is a fault of some sort okay the sediments will always deposit horizontally and laterally continuous over a very large area here you can see 100 kilometer okay so this is you know, you know like 600 to 700 kilometer in length so either they will pinch out like this okay or either they will grade into a different sediment like for example here it is sandstone or yahan dheere dheere grade karke ye limestone mein chala gaya lekin abruptly kabhi bhi aise khatam nahi hoga okay it will not change abruptly okay so it will deposit horizontally horizontally and as a continuous sheet of sediments over a very large area okay so lateral continuity layers can be continuous over a broad areas when first deposited erosion may later remove a part of that layer for example yahan pe koi river aayi theek hai pehle aise raha hoga yahan pe let's say uplift hua ye sea disappeared here a river came river made this grand canyon or canyon and if you are you know standing here and you say like yeah, 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 uh, you say that this limestone or sandstone whatever the layer is uh, is terminated here but if you know this law of original lateral continuity you will say that no this must have been deposited laterally over a large area and the river came and eroded it okay so this is the law of original lateral continuity okay so here you can see the grading into different sediment okay or pinching out like this but never it will be like this until unless the erosion happened okay 
Now, fourth is principle of cross-cutting relationship. This, this is very important. Okay. The principle of cross-cutting relationship says that the geological features that cut across the rocks must have formed after the rocks they cut through. But it means that if you have a if you have a you know like these rock layers and you will see that if there is a geological structure or feature which is cutting across this rock this horizontal rock okay this is the layer and if you see a geological structure or feature that is cutting across this rock okay you cut karana in layer ko ye wala feature this feature right here okay so this feature must be younger one okay so this feature must have formed after the rocks they cut through like for example if there is a igneous intrusion of magma magma intrude kar raha hai it crystallizes into pluton so this pluton is younger than the surrounding layers of rock okay then there is dike dike is a sort of igneous intrusion okay which is cutting a discordant body which is cutting across these layers okay so this dike is younger than these layers okay now again if there is a fault which is cutting across these layers okay this layer you can see right so this fault is the younger one and this layer are the older so this you know what is the geological structure here geological structure is this fault okay so again the questions are here okay the jam 2011 in this the question was asked okay identify the type of unconformity arrange three magmatic bodies older to younger age okay x y z right z y x so by using the principle of cross cutting relationship you can easily do this okay then there is principle of inclusions the principle of inclusion basically says that if the rock is containing any sort of inclusions inclusions meaning uh, like uh, basically a rock particles of different origin then that is known as inclusion in this uh, terminology okay so here you can see that this is let's say a sandstone that is containing this basalt particles okay these are the inclusions so what is saying that the rock containing an inclusion must be younger than the inclusion so if we have a sandstone here and it is containing these particles of basalt then this sandstone is the younger one and inclusion is the older so this basalt flow is older than the sandstone the sandstone was deposited later later on this basalt okay again here you can see in this the inclusions are the sandstone right if you take this part you will see that inclusion is what sandstone and what the principle says that the inclusions must be older so yahan pe kya hai inclusion kiska hai sandstone ka hai yahan dekho sandstone pe to kisi ka inclusion nahi hai na inclusion ka matlab kya hota hai ki what inclusion means is that a rock is containing wholly fully containing the rock of another origin sandstone basalt you might say that in this case in this case 
basalt can also be an inclusion but no this is not wholly fully contained okay here you can see the part is attached to the flow but in this case but in this case this sandstone inclusion is there okay it is fully covered by the basalt itself so here you can say that sandstone inclusion is there and it is older than the basalt okay so in this case basalt is younger okay right so this was principle of inclusion then there is principle of faunal succession okay very important it was given by william smith faunal succession says that distinct faunas faunas basically means fossils or organisms succeed one another regularly in the rocks what it means to say that if you have a assemblage of fossils then you will see that these fossils different fossil let's say this is trilobite this is uh, uh, you could say uh, any other fossil like graptolite okay or ammonite ammonite graptolite this like this okay graptolite amount so basically what is trying to say is that a rock rock record will have a fossil assemblages that will have only a limited interval of uh, timeline okay so by the image we will try to understand here you can see that trilobite succeed one another but once the trilobite got extinct you will not see the trilobite more in the succession okay so every fossil has a limited time range or timeline okay like trilobite had a timeline of cambrian to permian right then like ammonite got extinct during 66 million years ago okay ammonites will not be found in the cenozoic so every fossil has a limited range every species has a limited range once the species go extinct they will not be found upwards in the rock strata okay so ranges of fossils may overlap dekho yahan pe overlap kar rahe hai na ये ग्रेप्टोलाइट है ग्रेप्टोलाइट ट्रेलोबाइट साथ में रह सकते हैं लेकिन वंस दे गेट एक्सटेंट दे विल नेवर बी फाउंड ओवर हियर यहां पे नहीं मिलेंगे आप तो एक बार एक्सटेंट हो गया तो हो गया ठीक है तो अपेरेंस एंड डिसअपेरेंस की एक पर्टिकुलर रेंज होगी उसके बाद आपको कहीं वो देखने को नहीं मिलेगा तो एक पर्टिकुलर सक्सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड ओके ओल्डेस्ट एंड यंगेस्ट का एंड बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर सक्सेशन यू विल correlate you can correlate the rocks okay so i hope it is clear again what i am trying to say is here is that the fossil record has a limited time range the fossil record may overlap but once the fossil get extinct it will not be find found in the next strata okay okay not in beds above or below that interval so once interval is complete like cambrian to permian you will not find fossil like trilobite below precambrian below cambrian that is in precambrian or above permian that is in mesozoic then there is principle of baked contact principle of baked contact states that an igneous intrusion bakes bakes means it basically burns the country rock okay if there is an igneous intrusion of magma obviously it will heat up the country rock country rock means the world our rock that is surrounding okay it so it will bake this side part of the rocks so the rock that has been baked must be older than the intrusion it is pretty simple 
कि भाई एक आपके पास लाइम स्टोन का सक्सेशन है एंड इन दैट लाइम स्टोन एक इग्निस इंट्रूजन होता है मैग्मा उस पर आता है इंट्रूड करता है सो दिस हॉट मैग्मा विल ऑब्वियसली बेक हीट करेगा इस रीजन को दिस रीजन ऑफ लाइम स्टोन विल गेट बेग्ड सो दिस बेग्ड रॉक विल बी ओल्डर देन द इंट्रूजन इट सेल्फ दिस इज वट द प्रिंसिपल इज ट्राइंग टू से देन देर इज कॉन्फॉर्मेबिलिटी तो कॉन्फॉर्मेबिलिटी को हटा के सीधा हम अनकॉन्फॉर्मेबिलिटी पे आ जाता है वट इज अनकॉन्फॉर्मिटी अनकॉन्फॉर्मिटी इज बेसिकली अ बाउंड्री सरफेस बिटवीन टू रॉक्स टू रॉक लेयर ओके वन एंड टू लेट से दिस रॉक लेयर गेट डिपोजिटेड इन टेन ईयर्स ओके बट आफ्टर टेन ईयर्स लेट से देर वॉज अ रिवर इन बिटवीन ठीक है ये डिप ये डिपॉजिट नहीं होता तब तक बीच में रिवर आई रिवर लगभग 20 साल तक फॉर 20 इयर्स द रिवर फ्लोड हियर सो देर वॉज नो डिपोजिशन ओनली इरोजन आफ्टर 20 इयर्स द रिवर गॉट ड्राइड अप एंड देन देर वॉज डिपोजिशन ऑफ अनदर रॉक ओवर दिस लेयर सो फर्स्ट लेट से इट वॉज सैंड स्टोन देन लाइम स्टोन आफ्टर ट्वेंटी सो आफ्टर द बाउंड्री रिप्रेजेंट द ट्वेंटी ईयर्स gap of non deposition so this gap of non deposition is known as unconformity okay so period of non deposition possibly erosion is known as unconformity okay so unconformity is what a boundary which which represent a boundary between two rock layers which represent the period of non deposition non deposition of what sediments अब नॉन डिपोजिशन ऑफ सेंटिमेंट्स कैसे होगा पॉसिबली इरोजन के कारण होगा जो मैंने आपको बताया कि भाई रिवर वगैरह जा सकती है या विंड बहुत ज्यादा होगी ओके ठीक है तो चार तरीके की फोर बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ अनकन्फॉर्मिटीज आर देयर एंगुलर डिसकन्फॉर्मिटी पैरा कन्फॉर्मिटी एंड नॉन कन्फॉर्मिटी ओके सो दिस वी विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके सो दिस वॉज बेसिक ओके basic type of unconform uh, basic principles of stratigraphy uh, i will make a separate video on the unconformities itself so i hope you like this video okay if you have any uh, comments or thoughts you can post down below in the video okay if you like this video or not and if you have any suggestions uh, i would much appreciate it till then stay safe and goodbye